What's up, what's up, it's 106K in the LA break. We out here in NY, it's cold. Yes. But we living a life right now. I got my homie Derek Luke. Say what's, what's up, up to the people in the Bay. What's up, Bay? What's up, Bay? What's up? First off, I gotta go straight to it. We just, we just screened the movie Notorious, of course, about Notorious B.I.G.'s life. And, and Mr. Luke here plays the man in the movie, uh, Puff Daddy. Puff Daddy, Puff, Puffy. Um, Puffy was a, was a human being we know him as a mogul. There was so much about Puffy that we don't know, and I uh, sat down to talk to him, and when I spoke to him, talked to him, I kind of what the betrayal was. Yeah. So, so we're, we're, we're talking about, you know, we all know Diddy as the mogul, we remember him when he created the remix back in the day, but we're talking about Puff. Uh -huh. I mean, Derek had the curl in the movie. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, and, and at first, man, my head didn't want to curl, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was just like, you know, they was put chemical after chemical. For real? My joint was like very resistant. Really? You know what I'm saying? I think maybe my dad's from the island and so my joint was like rock hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You couldn't get the texture just right. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It was just, you know how I had that soft spot over here and then it get real cute. Oh, yeah. Right oh, yeah. Here? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had the constant sweet. You know what <laughs> And the other thing that made the character complete mm -hmm. that you brought to the table, it, it was seamless, mm -hmm. was the dance. You know what? I, you know, Puff and, and just rappers on the period, anybody that just takes the stage, it feels like, you know, uh, like they rock stars. Mm -hmm. And I'm sitting down with Puff, and Puff was like, yo, you know what I'm saying? You, got, you know what I'm saying? I got the best job in this world. Yep. And I was just like, <laughs> I was like, what you talking about? And I did the performance, and um, I called Puff and I let him know I was doing his performance. So he came by, and he was like, yo, Yo, y'all killed it. He said, I want to know, I want y'all to know, you and Grady, that me and Big was friends. Mm -hmm. And I didn't understand what that meant. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of what the story yeah. unfolds. Was there a point in time when you had to say to yourself, I know Diddy's gonna see this, and I can't be nervous, I gotta shake all that off and just do what I gotta do, get in there and do business? Yeah, um, <laughs> there, uh, there was a point in time where I had to shake off Diddy. As a matter of fact, I turned down the role uh, to play um, Puff a couple of times. I went and had a conversation with him. And he says, you know, everything in my office, you can talk to anybody. So I was looking at around at everybody. He said, yeah, you know, cool, cool, cool. And I thought, ah, Miss Combs. I called Mom Dukes. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> I called Mom Dukes. And she told me who Sean was. Yeah. The man she raised. And that kind of gave me this like that. That's not Puff, daddy that we see on, 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 on the billboards. Mm -hmm. The real Puff is what people don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Man, when the movie hits theaters January. Movie hit theaters January 16th, <laughs> day. And, uh, bay, bay, bay. That's what's up. Oh, and speaking of which, you got another project coming out. You're doing a Medea project, right? Yeah, no doubt. No oh, doubt. Lord, I already know working with Tyler Perry was crazy. Yeah, it was, it was, it was amazing. It's, uh, you know, it's a story. I was, you know, I was wanting to do more of the, the comedic stuff. Yeah. I was like, nah, 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 I got something else for you. I was like, here you go. But, you know, I had so much fun, learned a lot from him, and that's what he was in February 20th. Well, look at you, back-to-back yeah. -back blockbusters. Uh, okay, we well, heard right here. Well, go ahead and say bye to the Bay Area right quick. Peace to the Bay Area. Thank y'all for y'all love. And, man, y'all got mad swagger. And this girl got swag. That's what she is. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, peace out now. Good looking. It's 106 k here. Yeah. Yeah, man, we're in Brooklyn right now, right in the hood, Biggie's hood, over here. Uh, used to be bed -Stuy. I think now they call it Clifton Hills. We touched down, actually, I touched down this morning in NY at about 6 a.m. Now we're on a bus tour. There go our bus right there. We're on a bus tour with Mrs. Wallace. Biggie's mom is taking us around Brooklyn right now. She's actually up ahead with the whole crew, but I decided to chill by myself so I could see where everything went down. This is where Biggie grew up right here, number 226. You can see the address right there. It's the door. It's the stoop he used to kick it on. And then right across the street, 
is the Orient Temple, and that's where he got uh, his start at. He used to bust rhymes over there. But yeah, I'm in Brooklyn right now. This is crazy to me. KML, nationwide, we in the East Coast right now. I'm going to check in with you in a minute. We're still out here in Brooklyn, but we got to get the corners right here. We on St. They go St. James right oh, here. Yeah. And of course, the Fulton sign right over there. This is where it all went down. This is Biggie's hood right here. Notorious B.I.G. Uh, Mrs. Wallace giving us the tour. We're going to try to sneak up on her. She's up ahead. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yes. uh, I'm sure tonight when you see the movie, you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. But um, I love the concert scene. I love the, 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 the fact that he was sincere in his music. And the fact it, it showed, it talked about his love all through Christopher's life. He spoke of his friends, his, his, um, his associates. But in the movie, it really showed the love he had for his friends. What was your involvement with the mother character? Did you, did you guys, like, how did you help the mother character? Hey, hey. Uh, with, um, Angela? Angela Bessie, yes. Oh, I, I met her in, uh, I went to California, we met, we spoke, we had dinner. Um, and when she came into New York, we sat, we talked, and I did a lot of taping for her because she had to get my voice, okay. my voice down. And um, so I was there with her. Did you take her to a lot of like the old stories about when you? Oh yes, oh yes. The way I yelled at him when I <laughs> <laughs> like what he was doing, the way I cursed him out when he did something wrong. Oh yeah, we bonded. 